How's it going, Psychopath family? Mulata Slayer and people, today it's a Wednesday. Now, you may be looking at me and be like, what is up, dude? Why are you so freaking tired on that sad phrase? Basically, I am a bit sad because I just finished this game and I gotta say, this game makes you makes you through stuff. I'm not gonna lie, this game is one of the games that you have one choice, you either eat carrots or either you eat a uh, mashed potato and to be honest that game just made me freaking think about stuff and crap I don't know I don't know <laughs> but anyway out of that that out of the way let's focus on today's video today's video is a discussion video now I was looking into Egypt stuff because I saw a movie and it was related to gods and whatnot and whatnot and basically while I was playing Cy Cooper 4 on the last chapter of the paradox in France I noticed that in his timeline he has an ancestor from ancient Egypt. Now, Sly has an ancestor from ancient Egypt, Clockwork apparently is from there. Now what could this mean? Let's get into the theory slash discussion slash speculation because this is all for Sly 5. Leave your own thoughts and ideas in the comments down below and as always, make sure you join the Cooper Nation. Welcome to another Sly 5 video boys. Now this was going to be 4 things we might see in Sly 5, but instead of making this me just making a list and talking, I decided to talk, but instead of making a list I decided to combine everything, because the 4 things I was going to say are kind of related now that I stop and think about it. Now in the first place of that list was Clockwork. Now we might get some backstory on Clockwork. Second thing on the list was Paradox, Asian Ancestor. Third thing is Neela, and the fourth thing is basically Sly and Plot Twist that might turn the whole series upside down. That's what I'm basically seeing in a whole bunch of games that I've been playing recently. Now we all know the Psycho Owl that wants revenge. The fifth game, or even the movie, may get some info may give us some info on Clockwork. Where did he came from? How did he become immortal? Was he a good guy or a bad guy in a in the beginning? Now there are a lot of questions without answer. Me and Vivi did a top five unanswered questions. If you didn't check that out make sure you did you do link isn't down below. But in Sly 2 Band of Thief, Sly said Clockwork was mortal at some point. However, he turned himself into a robot so he could live forever with the power of hate. Now, right here we have another question, who turned Clockwork into a robot according to this? Like, because we see Slight and Common as the first Cooper because Clockwork is telling him and Slight and Common was the Cooper to be represented first before Bob. Now, is Clockwork telling him that means basically Clockwork is from Egypt? Now, where did he got the technology to turn himself into a robot? That's the question here. Assuming the paradox was messing with the time, he may be connected with Clockwork. At the end of Sly 4, as you all know by now, and Vivi even made a video about this, there are blueprints on the hideout that state this name. Briar Noggin. Now, no one knows who's this guy, no one knows if this guy even makes part of the series or if it's just an easter egg or if it's just a name of some guy. I google it, I think we all did by now and no, no news, nothing, literally, nothing happened. I'm not sure who's this guy, but yeah. Maybe this guy is connected to Paradox or to Clockwork in some point. Maybe Brian Auger even is a codename for Paradox. I'm not even sure who's this guy. Brian Auger in Paradox? It's a weird name. But anyway, I had this scenario in mind. Looking at this picture from Paradox Family, we have this guy from Egypt. And this made me wonder. Egypt is basically Asian Egypt. Basically, story has slavery. People working for the pharaoh. Now I made a whole bunch of videos about Egypt and whatnot and one of them I put Clockwork and Satan Common as friends therefore the reasons Clockwork hates Satan Common and I made Clockwork a god basically because Clockwork is an owl 
and the god of sun is Ra. Although Ra kind of represents more of a falcon instead of an owl, it's still a fun opinion, a fun idea, because owls in Egypt represent death. That's basically what I get here. And there is other points. A cat in Egypt is like a sanctuary. Cats are important in Egypt. I don't know why I didn't Google that up, but for some reason they are important. And looking at Nila, what is Nila in this scenario? Nila is like a cat? A panther? A tiger? Not a tiger, like a panther? A cat? An elephant? I don't even know, but like... There's a missing point here. Something here is missing in this investigation. We have Saiten Common as the first Cooper to create the Cooper Vault. No, to create the Phoebus Raccoonus. We have Saiten Common the second to create the Cooper Vault. And we got Saiten Common the third, who is a minor character. On the other side, we get the Paradox Ancestor that has this hat and that weird shaped thing on his beard. Now, this I know for sure that resembles Royal Family because only the richest guys have those type of outfits. If you compare Sight and Common to this guy, we can see Sight and Common is more of an ordinary thief and this guy was more of a corrupted guy. That's why he was rich. You, you can see Paradox. Paradox became rich because of corruption. I don't know about his dad, but looking at his gear, I can tell he was rich. Now that's the thing. We have these three, these four elements. We get Nila in the equation somewhere because Nila, according to the Wikipedia, Nila was actually poor and grew poor, but made her way into British University and basically manipulated people. And yeah, Interpol bring her in and decided to use a guy, a girl that can manipulate people into crime because who the hell thought that was a good idea? And last but not least on this six member equation we have Clockwork. The mysterious owl that mother crapper clockwork. So many unanswered questions here. Now we have these six dots and we have Sly in the middle. Where does it all connect? There is a missing point. Plus we have Brian Auger in the in the sideboard, in the sidewalk, whatever. Like it's missing something here, guys. Like I wanted to bring you something to chat about and discuss because this is fun things because it's speculated. I know the game is stopped for dry season for like three years now, but it is still awesome to put this out to the table and make speculation theories and discussions around this. This is basically why I did this video, just to point out all of this. We have the six dots and we have Sly in the middle stuck in ancient Egypt with no way of Bentley finding him unless he asks Penelope for help, that's why the postcards. Now, that's basically it guys, I don't have anything else I might add. If I remember anything before I upload this, I will be sure to type it in the comments. I will type a big ass comment by the way right now, and I want you guys to discuss with me there. Now, I'm a lot of slight, and I will catch you guys Friday for a video. By the way people, make sure you click this I right here on the corner because I'm kind of stuck and that poll will last for 24 hours. The thing that has most votes will get the video Friday. Basically it's between Sly, Infamous and Life is Strange because I played that game and I love the game. I just fell in love with the game because you all know I like a good plot. With this all the way, I'm out of Sly I'll catch you guys Friday.